Time is money, and I guess you don't want to waste it. But what's your strategy? Are you someone who analyzes every single aspect of a situation over and over again before making a decision just to be sure that no time is going to be wasted in the future because of silly mistakes? Or do you go more with your gut and you don't waste any time whatsoever with pros and cons lists? Well, if you're watching this video right now, chances are high that you're interested in photography to a certain extent. So I can tell you that both of these approaches are impacting your photography as well. Let me show you how. First of all, let's name both of these approaches. We're gonna be talking about paralysis by analysis and extent by instinct. Paralysis by analysis is delaying or stalling the decision-making process out of overthinking. And this is because you are feeling anxious or scared of making the wrong decision. The fear of doing something wrong makes you do nothing at all. You weigh every single pro and con and you go through every possible scenario over and over again. And as a result, you end up stuck. And this comes at a cost because by stalling, you might cause an even bigger problem than if you were to make the wrong decision to begin with. Extend by instinct, on the other hand, is making the wrong decision out of rush or gut reaction. You're basically following your instinct without taking the time to gather enough data to support your decision. You are acting a bit recklessly without really thinking of the consequences of what you're deciding. The risk here is that there's much higher chances of making the wrong decision because of the lack of analysis. I see both tendencies in photography, both when I shoot and when I see other people shooting. Paralysis by analysis in photography can manifest in different ways, one of which is overthinking the settings. In situations where timing is everything, like sunrise or sunset or street photography, where you really have to take the moment, this is gonna make you lose a shot. Another way of getting stuck is by deciding what gear to pick. Which focal length should I bring? Will I need weather sealed body? Or should I compromise the quality over quantity and pack up zoom lens instead of a prime lens or should they go for the other way around and is this focal length going to be enough like these are all questions that are signaling to you that you fell into the rabbit hole of paralysis by analysis and if at a superficial level this sounds like a wise thing to do it's actually detrimental because overthinking kills creativity you are spending way too much time thinking about what gear to use and how to use it than actually using it. So there is less time available for you to actually create. You end up overthinking your shot and missing the moment and just obsessing over the gear that you have and you end up feeling unsatisfied with it because nothing is gonna be good enough ever. Extend by instinct, on the other hand, means that you're not taking enough time to study the context that you're shooting in and adjust accordingly. You are not taking enough time to adjust the camera settings, so you end up with bad results with noise or camera shake or the subject out of focus, for instance. You don't take enough time to understand what type of gear you actually need in that very moment. So what type of lens or whether you need a tripod or a flashlight or a reflector. You're not thinking long enough about the composition, so you end up with the subject in a suboptimal position or you're not waiting that extra second for people to be out of your shot. You're operating in a kind of this will do mode and you are not taking the time to assess whether this will do enough. I'm a huge advocate for letting your sight guide you and just shoot following your instinct, but sometimes you need that extra analysis and instincts need to be coached a little. 
So, what's the solution for either of them, you ask? Well, shooting more. By shooting more, you are gaining in experience, and with more experience, you can rely more on your gut feeling because they are relating to something that happened already in the past. By being a more experienced photographer, you will be much faster in identifying what camera settings to use and what gear to pick. And in general, you're gonna become much more patient and waiting for the right moment to take your shot is gonna be super easy. So, it's all for today's video. Thank you for sticking around till the end. I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.